Hey guys, it's Tara and Chloe and this is our four month update. This little one is four months old already. Oh, so I've actually been really rather ill um, from about a week ago. It was over my birthday, which was over Easter. And I was very lucky because my husband was obviously out for Easter. So I had help with this little one. But when he went to work, I was like completely lost. I don't know how mothers do it, especially with multiple children. <coughs> I was like completely out of it, even more than usual with the sleep deprivations. Bless you. I hope you're not getting it. And I was just hot and cold and achy. I, bless you. I couldn't move. And and then I got a throat infection. I have, I have this still a horrible cough, but it's not nearly as bad. And I was literally counting down the minutes until he got home. And I felt so bad because I couldn't give her the attention that she wanted and needs. Um, so it was really hard. I'm so glad I'm, I'm over it now. So Chloe has had her first trip, her first holiday, and that was to Canada to visit my family. So she met my dad, her grandpa, who we call Paul for the first time. And she had met my mother already because she was there when well, the day after you were born. And we had such a nice time. Um, she got so much attention. And she's at that stage now where she's just craving the human attention, not just the toys and the different colors and all that, but to have someone or, you know, both of my parents there just giving her that extra bit whenever she wanted, which is like, you know, all the time she was awake, was just the best. And she, like, she's come on leaps and bounds already she's she, her hands are open for one <laughs> she's actually grabbing toys now and she's like gibbering away she was talking so much um not just to her toys but even <laughs> there was one night when i think we had the tv on and we weren't talking to each other but i guess she had remembered that that's what you do and they were talking to each other on the tv and she just started talking to the tv <laughs> Now, one slight tricky thing was sleep arrangements. So over here, we have a Moses basket. And over there, my sister-in-law and brother, they had a pack and play from when their kids would stay over at my parents. And this is kind of like a big upgrade compared to the Moses basket. She had so much more room and I wasn't sure how she'd be with all this room and not in a nice, cozy little basket but she ended up totally loving it. She'd be stretched out like one side to the next and just loving the space. So now since we've come back, I'm, I'm thinking twice about the Moses basket because there's times when she's just, yeah, I know, where she's just like scratching the edges and she's like, ah, get me out of here. Exactly like you're saying. So we might try nap time in the big bed or something like that. I'll, I'll find a way to, to keep her happy, hopefully. Hi. 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 She's got the little label on her. Now, the highlight of the past month for me was bath time. So previously, she's been in a little bath just for her. However, at my parents' house, we didn't have one of those. And I was like, it's fine, don't get one. I'll have a bath with her. And I'm so glad we did because it's just the best thing. I so highly recommend it for anyone who has trouble with bath time because they love it. They love that you're in there with them. Not only do they have that comfort that you're there, but also you can play with them much more easily and they have such a good time. She was so happy. We just enjoyed every second of every single bath we had together. The only thing is it's hard on your own because I guess you can prepare the bath and getting in is fine. It's the getting out that's a bit difficult. And I had my bikini on and I had my mom there and she was there. I mean, she also was happily interacting with Chloe during the bath, but then to have someone give your baby too when you come out so that you yourself can get dry and everything. That's the difficult part, but it's so worth it. We had a blast.
And my mom being just like me, we love doing our photo shoots, especially with this little one because she's so adorable. So we did a few of those and we did one with, I used to love the Lion King, I mean, I still do. And she was just surrounded by all the characters. And when I set it up for her, she was just like, she couldn't believe all these things were looking at her. So that's, I'm gonna love showing that to her in the future, especially when she's watching The Lion King. So we were in Canada for two weeks and we flew back just before Easter. And again, I was a bit nervous. Am I gonna have the luxury of all these seats again, a whole row of seats? And my gosh, we really lucked out. We got another row again. She wasn't quite as cooperative uh, on the way back. It was a night flight as well, so it was a bit trickier. And I think because she couldn't just like properly sleep, she was cranky quite a bit. And if we, again, if we didn't have those four seats, I don't know what it would have been like. I probably would have been extremely stressed. But having said that, she, yeah, she still was brilliant. And the air stewards were so helpful there and back. And they just loved holding her and carrying her. Uh, when I went to the washroom, they were like, we'll hold her. <laughs> Even if I didn't have to do anything, they're like, we'll hold her for you. <laughs> so she's got a few, uh, quite a few fans at Air Transit. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you guys have had a bath with your little ones, or please try it out and let me know how you get on. I'd love to hear. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Bye. Say bye.